Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Final hour of the great. Mark Kriegel's here. He used to write for the news and the post. I used to read them all the time. Wrote a couple of fantastic books. One about Joe Namath, his latest, about Ray Mancini, the good son. I, 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 I read a big book, and I read in a couple of weeks, which is a record for me. Just a, a great book you can't put down. Uh, so Mark Kriegel's here. Uh, hi, what's up? What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Uh, There's no the, crash and burn. Uh, it, well, listen, <laughs> I got the number eight on the New York Times bestsellers. That's what happens when you're uh, an obese comedian. <laughs> uh, you want to get out to number eight? Stab yourself. Well, let's, well, you want to go all the way with this? All right, come on. No, the guy's a, a brilliant writer. I'm actually proud to know him. And I, when the good I wasn't son, breaking your chops. When The Good Son came out, I went to go see him do a reading, uh, uh, which was a real New York event, a lot of great uh, newspaper people there. It was That was fun. What was that, The Half Moon? The or? Half King. The half king over uh, on 23rd and 10th there. Yeah, that was great. So, um, okay, so let's talk. Yeah, great trivia question. Well, you you brought this up, uh, and you're going to talk about it on uh, TV. Four guys from Brooklyn who changed the game of football and could be a broadcaster, could be a reporter, could be a head coach or a player. I guess two of them, and Howard Cosell and Vince Lombardi. So Andre? Two more guys. Markowitz. No, but you're close. Okay. Al Davis. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a great one. That's a great How did I forget Al who Davis? Made it, who made it good to be bad? Unlike Vince Lombardi, who was merely great enough to get his name on the chart. Just win, baby. Just, is just there something win. more in New York than you're that? You're right. Just win, baby. I, no, Al Davis is without quite. He's the top of that list. I'm I'm pissed. I forgot. Well, Lombardi's at the top. Lombardi, Sheepshead Bay. Right. Cosell, Eastern Parkway. And I, I, I put, Where's Davis from? What part of Brooklyn? Flatbush. Oh, okay. He played at Lincoln Terrace Park. He's right a off, real, right Brooke, real Brooklyn right. guy. Um, Ted Marchabroda. No, but that's a good one. But he didn't, cha- he didn't, cha- he didn't change the game. I, I'm just throwing that out there. I'll give He's you not on a, nowhere near James a list with the Madison, other guys. James Madison High School, class of 27. Oh, my God. But when I, but when I explain it to you, you'll, I think you'll agree. I'm trying to think of the original guys. George Hallis isn't a Brooklyn guy, nope. right? No. Nope. Early uh, Lambo. Obviously, it's not the Maras. Paul Brown. Uh, the Maras in Manhattan. Good guess, but uh, Art Modell. Yeah. No. Uh, oh, that's a good one, though. Is Modell a Brooklyn guy? He I might be. believe so. Tish. But no, no, no. Sonny Werblin. And here's why. I would have got it. I hate when people do uh, that. Come, nah, we we, we got to move yeah. along. You're right. Sonny uh, Warbler, about four but, hours in, I would have got it. Not only does and he And Modell is a Brooklyn guy. Right. But but he, he, first of all, he's trained as a TV agent. He was the first great TV hustler. I'll give you Sonny, I'll give you Sonny Warbler. So yeah. he helps invent the AFL. He definitely invents Joe Namath. Right. But then, at the end of it, the reason why we're going over to Jersey is Sonny Werblin. Remember every every bull of Manhattan people like me, like, how right, can you play said, football in Jersey? Yeah, yeah. He goes, pave the Hudson, call it 13th Avenue. Why not? Where it's we just are. Land that, uh, it was just leave the gun, take the cannolis until there they did that. Right. But uh, John had the biggest one. I think uh, Lombardi's number one, but a close second's Davis on that list. If you go guys from Brooklyn. At, changing. At a close end, second is I, as far as the, changing the game. Yes. Yeah. And changing the culture of the game. Yeah. Yeah, but Vince Lombardi is, you know, I- yeah. Iconic on it. They're, they're all iconic. But best coach of all time. One of the one of the things, John. Best, I don't best you, father of all time. If, if you, <laughs> I'll tell you, my dad. Uh, what, what, my dad probably. I tell you, he was what a great dad. Just a dad. Just a dad. I tell you, don't have an earring though. Don't have an earring. I tell you, well, that was fine. That was fine. I tell you, don't talk with a lisp. <laughs> Don't talk with the list. But he, what a great dad. What, just a dad? Just a dad. <laughs> Don't forget to put a cover on the macaroni salad. <laughs> uh, on the but what a dad. A dad. A dad that you've never seen before. Just a dad. Just a dad that you just left. Oh! Don't accidentally uh, give your mother the wrong cigarette. That, that, just a dad. Just a dad's dad. Just a dad that I. <laughs> I'd you like to have Al Davis for your old man? I know. Well, you lost. John, John, you lost. John knows his son and says he's a well adjusted. Mark, Mark, good guy. Listen, I, one I, of them. I, I How know, many kids he got? One. He's uh, got Mark. Mark, and and I I know Mark a little bit now because he just had that thing for the Raiders in Las Vegas a couple summers ago, when he became the the owner basically to celebrate his dad's life. But I, I don't think I ever saw him the whole time I was there. I think that he had the good sense 
to not want to get out of the his, way. <laughs> no, no, no. To not want to be his dad. One of the most difficult things in American culture is the act of succession, right? You're you don't right. want you don't want to be a Kennedy kid. You're right. That is tough. That okay. Is tough. You're right. You, you know, it, 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 it's a, it's well, in some a, ways you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, a, it's a thankless bad. task. Oh, One yeah, of the uh, about uh, Davis. Usually, when you uh, drown a whore, you'll get arrested. <laughs> As a Kennedy kid, uh, I drowned a whore and uh, was uh, not incarcerated. <laughs> That is one way uh, it was good to be a Kennedy kid. <laughs> the pressure, the pressure uh, for, to get into politics, bad. The, uh, the ability to drown a whore <laughs> and not be uh, arrested or incarcerated in any way is a uh, positive, <laughs> a check in the plus column. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Mark. No, no, drown a whore, that's, that's a verb. Yeah. That's one. <laughs> the drowning of a whore... <laughs> Uh, off a bridge is a skill that uh, not many uh, rich uh, kids so know. Terrible. But, uh, yeah, I, I agree. A Kennedy kid, uh, other than that, small advantage. Can I, just, right. ahead, can I just get my one Do extraneous Al Davis observation? Yeah. Right Nothing's going to beat John O'Hara. Go ahead. At the end, people, you know, people today know Al Davis. He's like King Lear of Oaktown. He, you know, he was crazy at the end. But people forget what a visionary he was. I mean, right. with Sonny Werbel, he does make the brilliant. AFL. Brilliant, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But you know, like, you know, like all guys. Him and finished... Pete Rozelle and all those guys, they built the NFL. You're right. But the, but the, the tension between him, him and Rozelle goes a long way toward making it's the league. Great. Also, who the hell ever thought of black uniforms? Yeah. He does make it good to be bad. You're right, and, and he was very smart as hell, and, yeah. and very entertaining. And listen. He the, was smart. the feud between him and Marcus now. Allen. I, I've talked to Absolutely. a lot of guys. Guys, it can only be that Marcus Allen banged a broad that he liked or something. If there's no the, that feud between <laughs> Marcus Allen and and uh, Al Davis, isn't it odd? He did not like Marcus Allen. I mean, and there's every reason for him to like him. It doesn't make any sense. It's got to be a broad. Mark, no, your, your thoughts on that? I've been around the best. I've had the best. <laughs> I I've had him all over the world. You know, I got to be I around. No band leader. I got to be around Mr. Davis when he was still very lucid. All right. You know, I I never I saw the interviews after the fact when he was talking about Demarcus Russell, and it just didn't <laughs> seem like he was. But he was in love with the long ball from the beginning. Daryl LaMonica. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. But John Gruden was able to kind of uh, push him more towards the controlled passing game, West Coast type stuff, and they had a nice working relationship. But when I was there, Al Davis was the most interesting guy I'd ever been around. First, I was extremely afraid of him, but well, he always helps. wanted to uh, talk about anything. Uh, he was not big football. into World War II, right? Yeah. Was he, he history, was big into history? Huge into history. I tell you, Johnny, let's talk a Politics, <laughs> huge into literature, and he wanted to talk to me about literature. Right. You know, because he was an English major at Syracuse. Let's talk to little Tolstoy, Johnny. Get it was amazing. I, on my way <laughs> out to practice. I punch in the face. Get out of there. Every Thursday. He and he was right about Lane Kiffin. About, yes, uh -huh. absolutely. Not a lot of people were. But no, you're right. That, that, so, But the fact that you got to interact with him is pretty special, you know? I mean, it is. Yeah. What amazing. books did you like to talk about? Herman Melville. Really? Yeah. I'm Moby Dick. Right, Johnny? He was really, he was really. <laughs> he was an interesting guy. He really liked uh, the adventures of Billy Budd because he compared himself to Billy Budd. You said John has raised the level. No, he has. He's talking about Melville. I didn't want to. Uh, I'm talking about you. I didn't want to tell him the homoerotic overtones of Billy Budd. On that show. Probably a good thing. You calling me uh you calling me lightning loafers? No, <laughs> that's the thing. I, Get out of here, Jack. Get out, Jack. You call me flimsy? <laughs> Get out, pal. Yeah. How'd you like a punch of flatbush right in your face? Yeah. This guy over here is calling me flimsy. Yeah. You're a punk. You're a punk punk. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I, I uh, I'm Billy Butt and that. Moby Dick rolled into one. That's what I am. You know what I'm talking about? A big Gay whale. A big gay, <laughs> you son of a get out of here. Yeah. Where do you get that from? Yeah. Uh, well, it's, you know, talk about just the borough. Well, now uh, you know uh, the borough of Brooklyn used to be its own city until 1898. Uh, you uh, just think about how many people from all walks of life come out of Brooklyn. It really is a special place. 
creative types, writers, showbiz, athletes. Uh, it's it's really crazy. Think of how many degenerates came out of this. That's what I mean. It's a special <laughs> place. It really is. Oh, it's right. like unique. Al Capone. Al Capone came from Brooklyn. He did came from Brooklyn. Originally he's from Brooklyn. Joey yeah. Gallo. Yeah, Joey Crazy Joe Gallo. President well, Street. If, As a matter of fact, Al the lion. Get the Al, lion in his basement. Al Brooklyn. Davis and Joey Gallo, Crazy Joey Gallo, both from President Street. Is that How about true? that? That is absolutely true. Well, then you got Jackie Gleason. Or he might have, his, his social club was on President Street, but Al Davis is from President Street off Eastern Park. Jackie Gleason and Henny Youngman grew up a few blocks from each other. And uh, Jackie Gleason used to beat up Henny Youngman. And uh, then he tried to take his violin. True story. And Henny Youngman fought back, and Gleason never messed with him again. Because really? he tried to take his violin one day. <laughs> I mean, that's what was going on in Brooklyn. Wait. Uh, you know, that's a great story. Where did you uh, get that story? I, I, Henny Youngman told it in a documentary. He took his violin. He want, Henny Youngman had a violin, you know, and he became famous for it. And uh, Jackie Gleason wanted the violin, wanted to steal it from him, and he said, "No, that's the one thing I'm not giving." At 354 you. Chauncey Street. But, yeah, that's where he grew up. That's where. No, where, that's where Ralph. Cranton that's really grew up. no. That's really where Gleason grew up. That's a, that's. I covered on, a homicide there. One that's time. based on truth. The building still stands. I, I, I've i been there. The in three, Bushwick. I've been there at 354 Chauncey Street. Yeah. A friend of mine did a murder there, did a murder, caught a murder case there. And people right. used to come from, like, Europe and wow. knock on them in Bushwick for Ralph Cram. Yeah. Like really, schmucks. That's like where, in Sweden. But that's where Bushwick. Gleason really grew up, though. He really well, did people, up. you know, it was, like, right across the street from the projects. People would knock on the door. Tough area. Right. Tough area. Uh but Brooklyn is a unique place, man. Who lived, uh, was it below or above Al Davis when he was uh, growing up? Oh, geez, is, is that, and I could be what, what, remembering what? something wrong. I, I thought this was Billy a story. Bart? No. <laughs> That'd be Bobby cool. Dick. No, I thought this was a story that he told me. Like, he lived above or below or next door to someone else who was uh, Walt Whitman. really important. Now, he was lighting the loaf of that Walt <laughs> Whitman guy, <laughs> writing poetry. Uh -huh. Danny Kay. Who the hell? Are... Danny what? Kay. Oh, don't no, get me he went, started. He, he went to Erasmus with, like, Barbara. No, not. Was Barbara Streisand? No, Barbara Streisand would have been. Was she Brooklyn or Bronx? She, she, was she, a, she, was, she was Brooklyn. I thought she was a Bronx. No. Jeez, that's a lot of. A lot of minutia about Brooklyn. I had no Woody idea. Allen, uh, you know, uh, yes, Streisand. Woody, jeez. Mel Brooks. Name a guy. Name a big comedian. From, Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, Seinfeld. Mel Brooks wasn't Long a football, Island. Mel Brooks wasn't a football coach, was he? Huh? Mel Brooks wasn't a football coach. No, but he was a great comedian. You bastard. Rodney Allen Rippy. <laughs> Rodney Chris Rock. Brooklyn. Rodney Dangerfield. Tony Rock. Rodney Ro Dangerfield. Rodney, yeah. uh, Tony Rock. Absolutely. Jerry Seinfeld, Brooklyn, New York, 1954. Nah, he grew up in Long Island. He was, he's I'm not, not a about he's not a Brooklyn I don't guy. I don't go in. No, he's not. Andrew Dice Clay. He's not a Brooklyn guy. I'm not Colin going. Quinn is a Brooklyn guy. Yes. Mm. I don't go for that born there. It's like Lou I love guys. Ferrigno. Oh yeah, well, you know Lou Ferrigno. Of... That's, nice. that's the new you want over there. Lou I know Ferrigno it. totally what, changed Lou? the uh, <laughs> bodybuilding. We well, have him right here. World. Yeah, that 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 did that. Three Stooges. You know what was so amazing about you, Lou? Yeah. Lou, when when that was a sport for guys who are five foot five, two hundred and Franco Colombo was amazing in his definition. <laughs> right, but you were six foot five, three hundred and twenty pounds. I was very very small. <laughs> Well, you were... And then I saw Arnold and the other guys, and Joe Weeder, and I, I was in play. <laughs> and uh, you do it long enough, and you, uh, I was, uh, I just felt better and better each time. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we have Lou Ferrigno right here. Come on, Al. Hey, Lou. Yeah. That'd be great. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, that was Bichetti's cue. Yeah. Well, Shetty was Staten Island guy. Mike was walking out. Oh, Shetty, what are you doing, Mike? As Lou I was just... He thought you were referring to him. No, well, we'll, we'll uh, go. Well, 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 Howard, well, the studios are from Brooklyn. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, that's true. It's a big comedy names. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. The uh, Marx what? Brothers. I don't know if they were from Brooklyn. They were from Brooklyn. What'd you say about me? The Marx Brothers. Oh, no, maybe they were Lower no, East Side. No, I don't think so. Were they Lower East Side? I think they were the Lower East Side. Lower East Side. That's another Lower East Side. They were more like a Sammy's Romanian crew. Yeah, Lower East Side's. Lucky Luciano, Bugsy Siegel, and you got that whole thing. 
uh, Maya uh, Lansky. Maya. Please don't forget my people. Oh, Maya, Maya, your people, the, they, they were the architect of the whole thing. <laughs> we get the rap. <laughs> we take the rap from Maya Lansky. Uh, uh, you know, tells all these guys what to do, and all of a sudden, you know, we're the jerk offs. <laughs> and then we claim anti Semitism. You're right. Uh, You're right. It's a bright guy. So uh, so when does this air, this special? I love stuff like that, like, you know, five Sunday guys morning play. game day. Basically, the by the way, I'm in the open, by the way, for the NFL Network. No. All Jersey guys. I'm in the, I, we, really? We just taped it yesterday. I'm in the open. Who are the other Jersey guys? Uh, they got... Uh, you, Frankie Valley. Uh, he might be. Who else? <laughs> they got somebody. Ray Liotta. Oh, Ray Liotta. Nice. Ray Liotta, myself, uh, and I think... Uh, one of, one of them. So if my piece doesn't air, it's I got pushed out because of you. <laughs> no, I'm the open. It's the open. The credits. The start of it. Wow. Your piece will air. Springsteen? I don't think Bruce said yes. He's not on a level with you anyway. <laughs> he was busy. One of the guys <laughs> that couldn't get over the bridge when Christy closed it. That's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Christy. And Artie. That's right. I'll tell you, that it's, is an aggravating. It's been thing. a good week for Christy, huh? Creating traffic is... Is a uh, real boo boo. <laughs> so wait, let me ask you a question. As a as a Jerseyite, I don't right want, don't don't be upset. Go right Did they really think they were going to get equal equal credit for this Super Bowl? Did Ooh. they expect not to be left out? Well, we are getting equal credit. It's a well, very, just because they greet you at Newark Airport and go, "Hi, very, how you doing?" Very Jersey event. It's a very Jersey. What's in where? What's in Jersey? The the media day was in Jersey. All the players are staying in Jersey, and a little thing called the game is being played in New Jersey. Don't don't make me belt out my Bill Maher. You're stupid. <laughs> the game is media day. Hey, did you go to media day, Mark? No, I was doing the show. You were at, so you were in L.A. Um, no, or you're doing it here on Radio when, Row. Uh, the Radio Row was in, uh, in the Sheraton. Okay. Thanks for being stupid. <laughs> we already left. The Artie Lang Show weeknights on Audience only on Directv.